What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be diving into the world of decentralized cloud computing with an in-depth review of this D-Pin miner. This is the Aether Edge. Now I've been slowly building up my collection of mining devices that will hopefully allow me to eventually earn a good chunk of passive income. Now I started mining Bitcoin, Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies early on, but I ended up stopping because the hardware just got too expensive. Now I'm getting back into it with a majority of deep pin miners being more cost effective and a lot more accessible. Now this Aether Edge is a deep pin project that promises to revolutionize how we think about GPU cloud computing, AI and gaming by leveraging a decentralized network of hardware. So stay tuned and we'll talk more about this device. <laughs> Okay, so first off, I do want to thank Helium Deploy for sending me this Aether Edge for me to review. They do continue to be one of my preferred distributors for any D-Pin and mining hardware. They've got amazing tools and resources which are great for beginners and experienced crypto enthusiasts alike. And they also provide the best selection, pricing, and speed of delivery when it comes to purchasing the latest and greatest hardware. Okay, so with that in mind, let's talk about what this Aether Edge is. Now at first glance, it looks like a shorter version of a PlayStation 5, but in fact, it is a D-Pin miner developed by Aether, a global decentralized cloud computing platform which allows users to share high performance GPU computing power and earn rewards in return. They've got over 40,000 units sold across 60 plus countries, making it a widespread network. In fact, it's making waves in the tech and crypto mining community because of just how widespread this network is. Now I've been experimenting with several D-Pin projects and this one seems to be another one that has a fairly decent return rate for basically doing nothing once you've got it set up. Now currently, Aether's existing network boasts an impressive 42,000 enterprise grade GPUs providing a robust infrastructure for AI, gaming, and other applications. So with an existing network like that already in place, owning one of these miners should be pretty promising. Now, by setting up and connecting this Aether Edge to the network, you're actually contributing to a more decentralized and accessible computing future for everyone. Now, when talking about the hardware itself, I love the sleek back packaging that it comes in where you'll find inside the Aether Edge miner, a power adapter and cable, and a very high quality Ethernet cable. Now the device itself is sleek and compact measuring 150 millimeters by 108 millimeters by 208 millimeters. This makes it easy to set up and store practically anywhere. Now the device itself is made of plastic and is very, very lightweight. And as you can see, it does resemble a shorter PlayStation 5. Now when it comes to setup, setting up this Aether Edge is pretty straightforward although I did run into some issues getting my device activated. To set this thing up, all you have to do is plug it into your power source, connect it to your network using the included ethernet cable, and then you're pretty much good to go. Now the device does support Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which ensures fast and reliable connectivity. Although when you are setting it up, I would recommend that you use the hard ethernet cable. Now when it comes to actually setting up the device, once you do have it plugged in and connected to your network, you will need to download the Aether Edge app, which is where you will pretty much set up, monitor, and control the device. Now when it comes to the actual setup of the device and adding it to the app, once the device is booted and ready, you'll need to start by adding the device by clicking the plus icon in the app. This will take you to a screen where you'll want to select the Bind Aether Edge option, which gives you the ability to scan the barcode on the device LCD screen using your phone. Now once you do that, it should be added to your list of devices. Now I will say this is the first step of a more complicated set of steps that you'll need to go through. The next and final step, which was probably the most complicated step for me, was to get your device working by depositing the staking fee required to activate your miner, which in my case was 1,998 ATH. Now this is where I ran into all kinds of confusion because there weren't many online tutorials, instructions, or videos really to get past this part. In fact, I found that I had different requirements and screens than most of the tutorials out there. 
So hopefully for those of you that's watching this more recent review, I'm hoping this will help you if you're stuck as well. Now I spent an hour trying to get my device activated because most directions I followed advised me to set up my MetaMask wallet in exchange for enough ATH tokens in order to activate this device. I'll tell you now, that did not work for me. Now what I found to be the easiest method for setting up and activating my device, and this is after hours of trying different methods, is to actually import the wallet that the Aether app creates for you into MetaMask. Now to do this, you simply click the gear icon in the app itself, which takes you to your settings. Now at the top, you will see the wallet address that the app created for you. All you have to do is click on the show wallet private keys option and click the copy key button. Once you've done that, you simply just take that copied key and go into MetaMask and import your wallet by clicking the add account option and select import account. All you need to do is paste your key and click next and you'll see that a new account is created in your MetaMask wallet. Now one thing to note, you will need to make sure that your wallet is on the Arbitrum network because that is the network that Aether uses. Now once the account is created, you can add the Aether token to the wallet itself and easily do the transactions there. Now the second part that I got stuck at was just converting and loading my wallet with the 1,998 Aether tokens. You also need to make sure that you load your wallet with enough Ethereum to pay for the gas requirement for the transactions themselves. Now for some reason when trying to activate my device, it would only let me proceed with the activation if I carried enough Ethereum that was equal to the value of the ATH that I had in my wallet. This meant that I had to transfer, deposit, and pretty much hold close to $300 worth of Ethereum and Aether in my wallet in order to get this thing activated. But in the end, after I activated the device, I just transferred that Ethereum back out to my other wallet. Now the other issue that I had, and this really seemed like an issue with most people where I watched their videos, was not being able to see the screens and error message on the phone app itself. So instead, I had to use the PC desktop version of the app to complete the staking process. Now if you need to, you can access the PC version of the app by going to app.myedge.io if you end up having the same issues that I have activating the device where you're not able to see some of the screens or some of the pop-up messages on the phone app itself. Anyways, once I got over that hump and completed the staking process, my device pretty quickly switched to a working status on the LCD screen, which you can also see right now. Now, going back to the device itself, one of the standout features of this Aether Edge is its energy efficiency. This Aether Edge consumes less than 10 cents worth of electricity per day in most countries. And that's all thanks to Qualcomm's Snapdragon 865 chip, which of course is designed for low power consumption. It's also very, very quiet. In fact, I don't think I hear a single sound from this device. Now, once everything's all said and done and the device is connected, the device does start supplying GPU computing power to Aether's network. And in return, you earn daily ATH token rewards. Now, as of this recording, I've had this device set up for about three days now, and my current earnings per day is roughly 100 ATH tokens. Now this of course will change as more devices are released and as the network gets more congested. And I did hear somewhere that by June that 100 ATH reward will actually get reduced. But that's something that I just heard and I'm not sure of, but it sounds about right. Now these tokens can be staked for additional benefits or traded on the various exchanges for cash. Now, looking at the token's current value, 100 tokens per day equates to roughly about $4 per day, which of course is always changing as well as the price fluctuates up and down. Now, compounded with my other D-Pin and crypto mining hardware, it all adds up. However, this also means that getting your money back for the cost of the device will take close to a year or more if the value of the token does not continue to increase, which I think is still not bad. Now, if you're someone who's looking for an ROI on this, because of all the changing landscapes and because of the changing value of the tokens and the project itself, that one year of ROI is not guaranteed. But you should go in just expecting that you want to support the network and not necessarily earn your money back. 
And again, my sole purpose, of course, is to diversify and add more projects to my collection of mining hardware so that I'm earning a big enough passive income to support my needs. So I'd say if you're new to deep in hardware and mining, and this is your first device, I'd actually try some of the other deep in hardware that's available on Helium Deploy first, and then maybe later add this to your portfolio of projects that you're supporting. Now, in addition to that, what makes cashing out your earnings unique for this project, and I guess it is a way of safeguarding the network, is the vesting schedule that all of your earnings are subject to. With Aether's vesting period, 30% of the rewards are available immediately, then 30% after 90 days, and then the remaining balance, which is 40%, is available after 180 days, which means you cannot immediately just cash out 100% of your earnings. So that's also something that you'll have to consider and keep in mind. Now, I assume this is a safeguard for this project, which can be both good and bad. Now, I also did read somewhere that in addition to staking, Aether also has other opportunities to earn additional tokens through partnerships in gaming, AI, and other DPIN applications. Although I'm not really sure what those additional opportunities look like yet, especially because this device is fairly new to me and I just received it. But this opens up multiple revenue streams for users with one or more of these devices. Now, in terms of performance, this Aether Edge is equipped with 12 gigs of DDR5 memory and 256 gigs of storage, which ensures that it can handle data intensive tasks with ease. It's also running on an Android operating system, which provides a familiar and versatile platform for developers, and then for most of us non developers, an easy to use interface. Now, because the Aether network deals with scalable data and privacy and even cryptocurrencies, security is also a priority. This device includes a dedicated encryption chip and features like secure boot and encrypted storage to protect user data and ensure the integrity of the token reward process. Now, from a user experience perspective, the dedicated Edge app is also available on both iOS and Android. It allows you to monitor earnings, track device status, and access essential features with ease. Now, in terms of cost, the Aether Edge is priced a little bit more than most other D-Pin projects at around $1,400, which of course is why I don't recommend this as your first D-Pin project to get involved with. Now, if you've got a bunch of other D-Pin projects that you're involved with and hardware, then I'd recommend you add this to your collection because it's just another way of adding earnings to your existing profile of hardware. But if this is your first D-Pin project and piece of hardware, then I'd recommend you try other projects first and then add this later when you've established yourself in the whole ecosystem. And while the cost does seem like a lot to me, the potential earnings and contributions to a decentralized computing network does offer significant value and because I do think that there is a pretty good potential that the value of both the project and the token will increase, especially since a lot of gaming and online services are using cloud compute to augment performance. In short, after using this Aether Edge for the past couple of days, I have been pretty happy with its performance and the seamless integration into my growing ecosystem of mining hardware. It really is one of those set it and forget it devices where you don't really have to worry about it after you've set it up. On top of that, the daily rewards in addition to other D-Pin hardware that I've got set up is a nice passive income stream. And then also knowing that I'm contributing to a decentralized future for cloud-based computing power is a great feeling. Now I can't reiterate this enough, but it is important to note that earnings can fluctuate based on several different factors, including network demand, token value, and even the number of devices deployed. As with any investment, there's always a level of risk involved, but I still think it's early enough to get in and make a decent earning with Aether. Now, I know this was a short video, but I really haven't had this device for very long, and my first impressions based on just the usage alone and based on what I've heard, this Aether Edge deep pin miner does offer an innovative way to participate in decentralized cloud computing projects, and it's also user friendly, it's got an easy setup, it's also energy efficient, and I think the potential value of daily rewards does make it a compelling option for mining enthusiasts and those looking to support a decentralized infrastructure. 
It's also great if you're someone who already does have a bunch of D-pin mining hardware and you're just looking to add another project to increase your overall passive income and also expand decentralized services across different platforms. Now, if you're interested in getting your hands on one of these Aether Edge devices, check out my link and discount code in the description section below. And as always, do your own research and consider your financial situation before making any kind of investment. I want to thank you for watching and supporting this channel, and also thanks to Helium Deploy for sending me this device to play around with. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tech reviews and insights. And if you do have any questions, comments, or you just want to share any advice, please leave me a note in the comment section. I love reading your comments. Anyways, take care, happy mining, and see you in the next video.